I want to start this off by saying this gimbal is only $99.99 USD. It's portable and it does what it's supposed to, which is make your footage buttery smooth. So if you're in the market for an affordable smartphone gimbal, this is the one to buy. Now, if you want to know more, let's have some fun and chat about it. The first thing I noticed about this gimbal is its size. This thing folds up super tiny and when you compare it to the DJI Osmo 2, it's almost half the size. When set up, they have a similar footprint, but if you want something that takes up very little real estate in a bag, the Vlog Pocket is definitely the way to go. The main problem I've always had with gimbals is that they are typically large, cumbersome, and difficult to balance. And in my testing, it appears the Vlog Pocket has solved all of these concerns. Balancing is a breeze. You just have to center your phone in the clamp and that's it. There's no knobs or annoying sliders. Just Set it and forget it. As easy as it is to balance, the most standout feature for me is the lack of rebalancing needed to switch to portrait mode. You just double tap the power button and it automatically switches. Double tap it again and you're in landscape. This is killer and puts the DJI Osmo 2 to shame. That thing is a major pain to set up, let alone switch back and forth between portrait and landscape. Now, although this stuff is cool and welcome, what it all comes down to is whether or not this gimbal is stable. And thankfully it is. In my testing, I saw no major discrepancies in stability between the Vlog Pocket and the Osmo 2. And even though they both share a maximum payload of 240 grams, I actually found the motors on the Vlog Pocket to be a tad stronger. They even supported extra lenses without a counterweight with ease. The Osmo Mobile on the other hand started to shake and it never fully balanced. This ability to manage the payload got me thinking, so I clamped on a Siru wide lens, which I'm also testing at the moment, and it created this cool wide selfie style vlogging point of view. And I think this would be something that would be fun to experiment with if you're someone who fancy themselves a vlogger. When it comes to software, Feiyu Tech has their own free app for the gimbal. This gives you a wide range of extra toys and features such as slow-mo, motion time-lapse, and dolly zoom. I'm unfortunately running iOS 13 beta, so I can't officially comment or dive into any of these, but even still, I found the motion tracking, which is very similar to DJI's active track, to be quite responsive and accurate. As with any gimbal, I usually recommend manually moving the gimbal and not relying on software, but it's cool nonetheless that Feiyu has included these extra perks, especially given the low price point. And really, that's what it all comes down to. At 99 bucks, it's hard to nitpick any flaws with this gimbal. I don't think this gimbal is the best. It can be a tad shaky given how light it is, and it's probably not the best for smartphone filmmaking either. That being said, I don't think it's incapable. In my workflow, a gimbal is a very specific tool for a very specific shot. And an ongoing theme for this channel and for me is I wanna use what has the least barriers between me and the image I wanna capture. And so when it comes to gimbals, this thing is barrier free, and I highly recommend it. One thing I totally forgot to mention is the Vlog Pocket has 14 hours of battery life. So anyways, 14 hours of battery life, pretty good. I haven't charged it once. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have another gimbal video coming soon. So let me know what you think of the Vlog Pocket in the comments, along with what you think of gimbals in general. It might help with the next video. Anyways, I'm Patrick Tommaso, and you'll hear me next time I feel like making a video. Cheers.